Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can allow standard users to run applications as an administrator without giving them full rights on the computer to run anything as an administrator. So we're going to be using the Run As tool. It's a free program you could download to do so. So when you download it, it'll be a zip file. Then you just need to extract it and run the Run, run As tool executable. So the first time you run it, you might get a pop-up from Microsoft saying, we don't know what this file is. Do you want to run it? And then you could click on More, I believe, and then get past it and then it won't bug you after that. So obviously anything you download from the internet, use at your own risk, but this seems to be okay so far. All right, so we're gonna open the executable here to start the process. Now, what you need to do first is put in the password for an account on the computer that is a local admin. So if you have more than one, you could pick it from the list. So we'll do that now. Apply. So that runs this program as that admin account. And then you're going to need to drag and drop your file that you want them to use or you know, program that you want them to be able to run as administrator. So for this example, we're going to use the command prompt. So that's located in the system32 folder here under Windows. And I believe if you have a shortcut, you could also uh, use that as well and drag it in there. So we just drag and drop it in there. And it'll give you your title, target file, you could change parameters if you want, the working directory, change the icon if you want. So here's your choices for how you want them to run it. Administrator, default rights, or limited user. So we're going to let them run as administrator. So next, what you need to do is right-click on it, create shortcut, and then you need to stick it somewhere that they could get to it. So we're going to go to the users folder. And we're going to pick Cindy because she's not an administrator. And we'll pick her desktop, and then you could change the name if you want from the default. So let's just call this prompt. Save it. Okay, so now we're going to log on as Cindy here. Okay, so now we're logged on as Cindy, and there's a shortcut we made. But first, we're going to try and run it from a different shortcut here running as administrator. So now you can see it wants the administrator password to actually run it, which obviously Cindy doesn't have or shouldn't have. So now if we use this icon we created with the program, if you hover over it, you can see it says run as tool. And then we open it here, it gives us the same uh, UAC prompt here. And now we have an administrator command prompt being run as a non-administrative user. So they'd have to use the shortcut. They can't you know, do search, search for it or use the other shortcuts. Just it only applies to the shortcut that we put on their desktop. All right, so let's go back to the other account here. OK, so we're back in the program here. So once again, just uh, download the zip file, uh, extract the files, run the executable, drag and drop your programs in here that you want to, them to run, pick your rights, and then right click it. Create a shortcut, put it whatever you want in their user account so they could get to it, and then they'll be able to run that uh, program as an administrator. I'll put a link in the description for the program, and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.